And now after Q6700 I will be trying some of the QX series quad-core CPUs like the Q, QX6700, 6800 and 6850. Now I will be trying the QX6800 because this one was the most promising of the CPUs I tested. Definitely decent on water cooling, so let's see how it goes on LN2. Now I think I fixed the overcurrent protection with this Rambase Extreme, so we should be able to run even high V core, high frequency W primes, a lot more stable, so let's see how it goes. Again, brand new Rambate Extreme, I switched the Northbridge heatsink, although they don't really differ that much at all. Even the water block is very, very, very good because it has a lot of mass concentrated in small area. The heatsink is, is just aluminium, aluminium base with that one small copper uh, heat pipe over there. Kimping cooling F1 dark. I'm now using the pink thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly. It doesn't really make any difference to use the pink one, KPX, normal cry on out whatsoever with these older CPUs because they have very strict code bug. Corsair dominated GDX2 memory as always from some OCX. NVIDIA 6500 GT for monitor signal with capture card again and Corsair AX1600i. I'll start in Windows XP and then Server 2003 for the signal for that stuff. Let's see how it goes and how does my W prime efficiency look like this time. Okay, that's the new top score in W Prime 32, 7.937. I don't know why this CPU doesn't seem to like cold that much. Previous top score by Rocco Essa from Germany at 8.158. At close to 5.1. This is lower frequency, but we beat his score. So 259.234 at 5015, 14 megahertz. Previous top score by Rocco Esa from Germany, 271.968 at 4.875. So this is like 12 second improvement, so it's somewhat okay, I guess. Okay, I changed the CPU, definitely better, almost 5.3. But we are still well away from, let's say, the top 1M by high pro 5. Definitely not easy. I think it was 9.2 something. Okay, it's getting close. I think these CPUs, many of these, they just don't scale well with temperatures. That's that's how I feel. Yeah, definitely better. Almost 5.5. 5. But this CPU was much worse on ambient cooling. Like 3.8 GHz, W Prime and PiFast. I think PiFast. I usually use PiFast for 7.75. 3.8 PiFast, 1.35 volts. The previous one, 3.95 at 1.35, but doesn't scale it seems. Yep, very very close now. No! I'm not gonna care right now, I wanna save this. I don't know why it does that. I think with this older things it doesn't matter that much because it doesn't really change
Ah, almost under nine seconds. Doesn't matter too much, I think. But yeah, that's the new top score in Superpy 32 and this CPU is definitely from another planet compared to the previous one. So 9 minutes 1.704, previous top score by GDX X58 from Canada. His runner is actually pretty strong for his frequency, only 5 gigahertz, because I was running higher. But 9 minutes, I think it's 33.453, so this is like almost 32 seconds faster than his run, so definitely strong. But yeah, sad because I wanted to get under under 9 minutes, under a 17 second pie fast. Ah. Almost two seconds faster than the previous top score. Tells enough, I guess. Nine twenty five, one twenty five, one twenty five. Yeah, should rerun some of the W primes. Ooh. Damn close. We need one notch higher. But it's already crazy. I think this should be under nine seconds. Five oh seven five. <laughs> <laughs> One more. The CPU is singing Hadaway. Baby, don't hurt me. The CPU is at minus 133 during the run, something like this. Okay, under nine seconds. No! <laughs> Stupidity. 5.6 Crazy, 5.61 M Yeah, there it is Okay, we take one screenshot like this And we get the temperatures, get the frequency up. Okay, capture card. Okay, return to W prime. 400 megahertz more on the CPU should be a piece of cake. But sadly, because now we don't have the 5.6 validation, it sucks. Seven, seven, yeah, 400 milliseconds more already on the result. Probably should run 1024. I'm at this right now because this is already very, very high.
239. I think that's like 20 second improvement or so. Yeah, I think it was 271.5 something the previous top score, so that's like over half a minute better. So definitely awesome. <laughs> Well, it's 5.5 because no one expected or assumed this CPU model or these could be run this high in W prime because it's a York field. I mean Conroe or Kensfield, same as Q6600. You know, I mean, effectively in the end. Five point six all core. Yeah, we got it. So 5.6 all core, I just wanna check it, but that's awesome. And okay, everything worked fluently towards the end, better than what I expected based on the ambient cooling results. So the worst CPU, significantly worse CPU ended up being tons better on LN2. So 5.6 gigahertz against 5.1 something, the max frequency on LN2. And the validation was actually successful even with four cores and threads. So a quad core CPU validated at 5.6. That's definitely enormous if you ask me, as it's the older 65 nanometer model against the newer York fields that are 45 nanometer. So uh, yeah, at first with the other CPU I struggled like W prime at 5 gigahertz something both 32 and 1024 amp but now with this newer CPU the best W prime 32 ended up being 7.203 so that's like uh, 600 something milliseconds I think faster than the previous top score 1024 amp I think it was 32 seconds faster like 239 seconds against 271 if I remember correctly. Pi fast we got under 17 seconds so I think it was 16.97 at 5.5 something. 1M we got with capture card footage we saw under 9 seconds 8.984 which is very interesting considering that high profile's result was already enormous at 9.220 made in April of 2008 at the uh, beginning of the financial crisis so it's definitely a pretty interesting uh, story 17 and a half years later this much better result 32 m sadly no under nine minutes i can definitely do it but i don't want to do it because i have other cpus i want to test so nine minutes i think it was 1.7 something seconds at 5.4 something so that's definitely enormous not strong enormous so I'm extremely happy right now with these results and definitely good performance with the new Rampage Extreme. No overcurrent protection issues whatsoever. Could run W Prime fine, even close to 1.9 volts at high frequency. So yeah, all of these scores will be on hardwarebot.org at the time you are watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like to see these efforts with these older platforms and CPUs. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to join my Patreon Discord and contact me personally. But otherwise, thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again. And I will see you on the next one.